Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to install Android 16 custom ROM on any Android phone using a GSI. Yes, even if your OEM hasn't pushed the update yet, you can try Android 16 right now. This works on most phones except super old ones on Android 7 or below. Now, let's skip the long intro and dive straight into installing Android 16. Alright, for this video, I am using Moto Edge 40, which is currently running on Android 14, and we are going to install Android 16 on this. First things first, we need to make sure the device is compatible with GSI. So, download and install Treble Info app from the description link. Once it's installed, open the app and tap on View Details. At the top, you'll see the Project Treble status. If it says supported, your phone can run Android 16 custom ROM. If it says not supported, unfortunately, you cannot install Android 16 ROM. Now, if your device is supported, go ahead and tap on browse images. This will take you to a list of available custom ROMs that are compatible with your device. Here, you'll see ROMs based on Android 14, Android 15, and most importantly, Android 16. So, go ahead and download the Android 16 custom ROM to your PC or your device. The download has started and while we wait, let's take care of an important step, enabling USB debugging. Let me quickly enable developer options first. This just takes a few seconds. Once enabled, open developer option. Here, make sure your bootloader is unlocked because that's the only major prerequisite for this method to work. If your bootloader isn't unlocked, no worries. I've made detailed videos for most devices. All the links are in the description. Once unlocked, come back and enable USB debugging. This is essential for flashing the Android 16 via ADB. Once that's done, let's go ahead and connect the device to the PC and move the downloaded GSI file to your computer. When you plug in your device, you'll see a prompt asking for USB debugging permission. Just tap on allow and you're good to go. Alright, here we have our Android 16 ROM file and you'll also need to download the latest platform tools. I've dropped the link for that in the description below. Once both files are downloaded, go ahead and extract them to a folder on your PC. After extraction, feel free to delete the zip files, just to keep things clean. Now open the Platform Tools folder. This is where you'll find all the important files like ADB and Fastboot. We need to open Command Prompt here, click the address bar, type CMD and hit Enter. The Command Prompt opens in the folder. Now let's check the connection. In the Command Prompt, type ADB Devices and press Enter. If you got the serial number, which means the device is connected. Now type ADB Reboot Bootloader and hit Enter. Your phone will reboot into fastboot mode in about 10 to 15 seconds. Our device is now in fastboot mode. Type fastboot devices to confirm the connection. If you see serial number, you're all set. But hey, if you don't see anything after running the command like this, don't worry. It just means your PC isn't recognizing the device in fastboot mode. In that case, you'll need to install the proper USB drivers for your specific device. I'll try to link drivers for most popular phones in the description below. Just download and install the correct one for your phone, then try the fastboot devices command again. Once device is connected in fastboot mode, next, type the command fastboot reboot fastboot. This will reboot your device into fastboot D mode, which is required for flashing the GSI. And yes, our device is now booted into fastboot D mode. First, we need to erase the system partition. So go ahead and type fastboot erase system. Now, if you get an error here, don't panic. This is actually common on many devices that use dynamic partitions. Instead of erasing the system directly, we'll delete the logical product partition. So go ahead and, and run this command. Once that's done, it's time to flash the ROM. Type fastboot flash system and path of the ROM file. Simply drag and drop the system.image file from the GSI folder into the terminal window. This will automatically paste the full path. Once it's there, just hit enter and the flashing process will begin. 
All right, the ROM is now flashing. This process might take a few minutes, so I'll just fast forward this part to save your time. Once it's done, the next step is to wipe the existing data. Type the following command, fastboot space dash w. But as you can see, we got an error. This happens on some devices. So instead, we'll wipe the necessary partitions manually. Go ahead and type the following commands one by one. Fastboot erase user data and then fastboot erase metadata. This will wipe your personal data and reset everything on the user data partition. Now we need to flash VB meta image. This step is optional and only required for some devices. Now type fastboot reboot bootloader. This reboots your phone from fastboot D mode to regular fastboot mode, which is required to flash the VB meta image. The VB meta file is already included in the GSI folder. To flash it, run this command along with the VB meta file path. Just drag and drop the VB meta image file into the terminal and hit enter. In my case, I'm going to skip this step because my device is already rooted and doesn't require VB meta to be flashed. Finally, once everything is done, type fastboot reboot. Your phone will now reboot into Android 16. Give it a few minutes on the first boot, it may take a bit longer than usual. All right, the device has now booted into Android 16. Let me quickly go through the setup process and fast forward it for you. And yes, we are officially in Android 16. This is how it looks right out of the box. Super clean, super smooth and ready to explore. Let's quickly head over to settings to confirm we're really running Android 16. And yep. As you can see, the Android version is Baklava, which is the code name for Android 16. Everything looks super clean, from the smooth new animations to the subtle UI tweaks. Keep in mind, depending on the GSI build you installed, some features might be slightly different or missing, but overall, you are now experiencing the latest version of Android, way before the official release hits most devices. So that's how you can install Android 16 on almost any Android phone using a GSI. And that's it for today's tutorial. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to smash that like button and please consider subscribing to the channel. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next one.